Hi friends, I hope you're having a great New Year's Day. I've been thinking about my resolutions that I want to make for myself and I want to know what yours are too. And I was just looking at a Facebook memory for last year where I talked about what I wanted to do. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, this is what I wrote. I haven't decided on my New Year's resolutions yet. I think rather than lose weight, which I'll probably do anyway, Actually, I did, and I was in this fitness challenge, which ended up being overkill because we were trying to go the most miles than anybody else. <laughs> uh, I want to focus on figuring out how to put my talents to use to earn money for our family. I want to perform and write. I want to make even more people laugh. I need to settle on an idea and put my available energy into it. And this is what my friends wrote. Let's write a musical. Serious. Okay, that would be fun. I still want to do that. Another friend said, you should figure out how to make money blogging and videos. Good idea. <laughs> Another friend said, write a funny mom book. You'd make millions. Then as you travel to promote it, you could write a little ditty to go along with it, selling the CD at the time. Woot! <laughs> oh, this is my friend who passed away this year. Oh, this makes me sad. She said, do a YouTube video. Did you hear about the lady from Utah who sang that Alleluia song for her baby? She's going to be making an album. I love to make people laugh, and I make my friends laugh all the time. And that's just something that I want to do a lot more. Although sometimes my friends get mad at me if they just had surgery and I make them laugh, which is usually accidental. I remember visiting this friend really late at night. I don't know why we were there so late, but she was a night owl at the time. She had had a baby prematurely and had a C-section. And we went over to visit and see if she needed anything. And she kept going, oh, oh stop making me laugh. Stop making me laugh. And I said, I'm not... I'm not trying to, I'm sorry. And, and so I just decided, okay, I'm just gonna be quiet now. And then Conan O'Brien was on the TV and all of a sudden there's a video of two monkeys mating and she just totally lost it again and her incisions were hurting her so bad. My family were all about making people laugh, music, and um, well, my, me and my siblings, we're, we do the foodie thing too. So, my parents are pretty funny. My mom's really, really funny. And, um, as an example, do you see this Christmas ornament? My mom made this. She made a whole set of them. But can you tell what it's made of? Self-hanging. I wanted to do one more video by the Christmas tree before I take it down. That's the worst time of year is when we have to take the tree down. I love the way it smells. I love how festive it is. But we need to figure out where to put the new piano and need things out of the way so we can move out the old piano. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. There's a donation trailer nearby. We could probably shove it in there. Anyway, I could make a giant list of all the ways I want to improve myself, but that gets overwhelming and I don't recommend doing that. Just focus on the things that are concerning you the most, or maybe make a few different categories and decide I'm going to make one goal for each of these categories. I decided my main New Year's, it's very concrete, my main New Year's resolution for the year is to finally get a new vehicle for our family because the last two summers we haven't been able to go anywhere, not even just for a fun drive. I mean, I I go around town and stuff like that anywhere I know I could get to a shop if needed. But years ago, right before we took just a three hour trip to the ocean with my family, my van broke down on the way to see my parents. Now, it was really interesting because 
Me and my husband never, ever go visit my parents without the kids. And I suddenly said to my husband, I think we should go to my parents and watch this movie with them. It was, I think, yeah, two nights before we were heading to the ocean. It would have broken down on the way to the ocean if we had not gone to my parents. So we were heading up this hill when the van overheated and the radiator basically exploded. And it was very stressful, very expensive fix, and we ended up deciding to take my husband's truck, but you know his truck is even older than my van. And I was really stressed out the entire way there. And during the vacation, very stressed out about how much it was going to cost. So it was pretty expensive. And then just a couple summers ago, we spent over $1,000 on it. And then on the way there to pick it up, my husband said, there's something wrong with my truck. And the brakes were really, really grabby. And so he, he spent the whole week trying to get his truck repaired. So it's a, a 93 one ton pickup. It took all day to, to figure out how to jack the thing up because everything he had, it was too heavy for you know the jack that he had and yeah spent hundreds of dollars just fixing that issue on its own and we were having the worst heat wave so he was out there miserable hot and grease all over him and stuff and then while he was out there our refrigerator started going beep 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 and that was because it wasn't handling the heat very well so it had something to do with the compressor and basically the little alarm meant it wasn't cooling our food properly anymore and it had been like that all night so i kept tossing food not knowing if, if it was safe or not and it was freezing in the back so i would defrost everything with the hair dryer and it would be okay for a while and then we wake up again and the alarm is going off again and then um he did manage to get his truck fixed in time to volunteer for cub camp. But on the way back one night, the clutch went out. I think it was actually the first night he went. Totally different situation. And he had to have it towed to the shop. So between our two vehicles over a week or two period, we spent, I think, close to $3,000 on both our vehicles. So... Um, yeah, I just haven't gone anywhere. I didn't want to be in a situation where I had to be towed from far away or, um, you know, be stuck <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. And I, I would like to be able to just see some sights in the state even, just something that's a, a one-day trip. But what bothers me the most is we haven't been to see my in-laws who live out of state uh, for over six years now. I have all these nieces and nephews I've never met. And, you know, I've seen so many examples in my life the last couple of years that anything can happen. And his parents have health problems. He's got a sibling, a sibling with health problems. Uh, went through a, kind of a scary ordeal. And um, anyway, that's my goal. I just, I feel like we can make a lot more memories if I finally get a new vehicle. And as a mom, I have to drive my kids all over the place, too. So it's just been difficult timing with us getting the house just a couple years ago. It's the first time we bought a house. I had to leave all my piano students um, when we moved away from the area. And at the time, I was having a very difficult pregnancy. It was kind of like being in a state of slow labor all the time. And... Um, then I got rear-ended a month before the baby was born, and that caused me all sorts of problems. It just, and then she ended up being a very clingy baby, and it was just a really hard time to build the business back up. And when you teach piano lessons, it's typically right after school, which is the baby's cranky hour, right? So I felt like, okay, I can handle a lesson or two at a time, but I don't want to teach lessons when <laughs> there's a colicky baby. 
Um, oh yeah, so what happened was, oh god, it's a long story. We had, after we moved in, I was still pregnant at the time, and the very first time it rained, there was a small leak right above the front door, luckily outside. So we were dealing with a roof issue um, less than a week after the baby was born. The dryer broke, and we were already having issues with the washer. It's a long story, but it was a computer board issue. So, yeah, so roof issue, car issues, replacing the washer and dryer, the fridge acting up, <laughs> and then we had a dishwasher leak. Our floor is still partially torn up because what happened was it's wood floor and it wasn't installed properly. It was glued right to the concrete, so there's no vapor barrier. And so uh, there are just all of these issues that have taken priority over getting a new van and not having my business built back up to where it was. It, it would be hard to make car payments, but I'm starting to build up students again, and my daughter is uh, less high maintenance than she, than she was. Um, yeah, she's adorable, but oh man, <laughs> she's still in my bed. Don't judge. Oh man, <laughs> she screams so so loud. I mean, we, I tried and tried. Part of the problem was after she was born, my back was so messed up from the accident, I could hardly get myself out of bed. So she just slept in the bed with me. If I, every time I rolled over, I would basically kind of scream in pain and it was waking my husband up too. So I could not physically put her in a crib after she was born because my back was so messed up. My husband stayed home for a month because I couldn't carry her up and down the stairs. So we just been through some really difficult things. We, not near as hard as other things friends have gone through. I mean, I, I would never want to go through some of the trials my friends have been through. I'll, I'll take the ones I have, but you know, it is still stressful. Oh, and I, I forgot this fun part. <laughs> right after the fridge and the, the car repairs and all these things, um, I got shingles. Can you believe that? And my sister, who lives in another state, she had shingles just a couple months before me, and she's younger than I am. And my doctor said, well, how did you get shingles? Were you sick recently? And I said, no, I, I've just been really stressed. And he says, well, about what? And I said, medical bills. And I, I almost didn't even go in. I thought, well, I have shingles. I'm just going to wait it out. And it, well, it took a few days before I even realized it was shingles. And you want to treat basically right away. But Someone told me if I didn't treat it with the antivirals, I would be in pain for years, possibly. So I decided to go in and was really frustrated because my daughter was, I think, six or seven months old at the time. Someone's looking to, listening to Phantom of the Opera upstairs. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> and I just oh, I could not believe the doctor. He, he says, okay, well, just don't nurse your daughter for a week when you're on the antiviral, just pump and dump. And he did not know my child's personality at all. There was no way this was gonna work out. And my husband wasn't even in town at the time. So he says, oh, it'll be okay. I'm like, okay, so I had shingles from my stomach wrapping around my side to my back. And I was gonna have to wrangle this baby who was gonna be screaming and crying for hours and hours if I didn't nurse her. And so I thought, okay, I guess I'm not going to take the antiviral then. I'm just going to suffer because there's no way I can tell my baby that I'm not going to nurse her. And then he also suggested, and don't nurse on the side that has the shingles. Well, it had already been days of her nursing, so if she was going to get chicken pox, then she was going to get chicken pox. So yeah, when you have the shingles, you can give chicken pox to people who haven't had it. And she wasn't old enough for the vaccine yet. And so... I got home and I called a pharmacist and I said, is there an antiviral that I can take while I'm nursing? And they said, yes, you can. You can take Valtrex. Hallelujah. So I got to still nurse my baby 
and not be in pain for years. So that was great. Uh, I didn't want to deal with that doctor anymore after that. Sorry, this turned into a kind of a, a rant. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been kind of a stressful time for a couple years now. Uh, lots of changes. <sighs> and my husband has been doing a side business with his sister too, and we don't really see him very much at all. And, um, you know, it's not a guarantee that they make money. They've been flipping houses, and sometimes you make money, sometimes you break even, and sometimes you lose money. It just depends. So my main goal is I want to get a new vehicle, and I want to visit family, and I want to make memories. I want to have... You know, I, I don't want to take an expensive vacation or anything. I mean, I see friends who are going to Hawaii and Disneyland and stuff, and all I want is to see family and just to do more fun things with the kids because when we're stuck at home for the summer, it just there's not really a ton to do. So, you know, I'm sure there are people who would love to be in my position. It's going to take a lot of hard work, um... As a family, I have to have their support when I teach. I used to go to other people's houses to teach piano, but I don't want to leave my daughter every day. At least want to be in the house and just know that everything's okay. She's too little to be leaving a lot. Um, and as far as my YouTube channel goes, it took five months after I monetized it before I saw my first paycheck. And, you know, it's... I think people think you make a lot more on YouTube than... <laughs> than you really do. So it's just, it's like the, you know, the minimal amount for now, but it's, it's fun to do. And, uh, you know, any amount helps to lessen the stress in our lives. And I want to thank everyone who has subscribed and just really been a friend to me. They've been really supportive. I don't really prefer to call everybody fans. I like to call you my friends. Cause you are friends to me. I've noticed sometimes when I get nasty comments, by the time I go to deal with it, it's already gone. So I, I feel like people are kind of watching my back. So thanks for that. Uh, I have to tell you about some of the comments sometimes. Sometimes the insults are very creative. Other times, not so much. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful new year. Um, and tell me some of what some of your resolutions are, or just what are some of your wishes?